My name is Bob Fisher. I'm a registered marriage celebrant bound by my official duties to perform today's ceremony. Before we get underway, I request that all mobile phones are switched off. The couple have requested that you may take photographs or videos during the ceremony, but ask that you do not post these on social media. Toilets are behind me and smoking during the ceremony is not permitted. We have also provided ice water and children's toys nearby. The very handsome groom, Jet, and his best man, Sean, are already in place. So I ask your further indulgence whilst we await the bridal party. Please stand for the arrival of the bridal procession. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is the day we've all been waiting for. At last, Jet and Rashani are about to be married. What a beautiful couple they are and what fantastic times lie ahead for them both. Rashini was born in India but came to Australia when she was a toddler. She revisited India a few years ago and found her birth mother, stepfather and three siblings. They are all here today to take part in this wonderful event. One other thing that happened while Rashini was in India, she met Jet, who was just happening to be passing by. Wonderful things happen in India. <clears throat> to get everybody in the mood, we thought a little Indian tradition might be in order. Ladies, da 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 <clears throat> There is also someone else that wants to help celebrate today. Roshini's father is now married to Carolyn, who would like to read a short poem. Please welcome Carolyn to the podium. Thank you, Carolyn, for those sincere words of advice. We are now at the point where everyone has been waiting for. I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you were joined in marriage in my presence, and in the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage according to law in Australia is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others, voluntarily entered into for life. Do you, Jet Michael Roberts, present yourself here today to be joined in marriage with Roshina Vidushi Norman, promising to be faithful and honest with her as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you, Roshini Vidushi Norman, present yourself here today to be joined in marriage with Jet Michael Roberts, promising to be faithful and honest with him as long as you both shall live. I will now ask Jet and Rashina to state their legal vows. Uh, I call upon persons here present to witness that I, Jet Michael Roberts, take thee, Rashani Vidushi Norman, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold until death do us part. upon the holder of the rings. Jet and Rashina have mutually decided to wear wedding rings. 
I now ask Jet to place the ring on Rashina's finger. Rashani, I present this ring to you as a token of my endless love for only you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it gives me great pleasure to announce the couple as husband and wife. Jet, you may now kiss your new wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr and Mrs Norman have requested that they sign the official register in full view of you all. I ask the couple to stand at the signing table and sign the marriage register, certificate of marriage, and the marriage certificate, and be witnessed by Sean William Roberts and Anthrushi Katharupushiai. Sit. Sign there. Roshani. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr. and Mrs. Norman will shortly be leaving to have photographs taken, but they have requested me to invite you all to a reception held here in the Botanic Wedding Suite starting at 4.30 p.m. Thank you all for attending this fantastic occasion today. I wish you all the very best. Good afternoon.